what's going on everyone man is it go here and today i have a really really quick video here for you i'm just kind of showing you guys what i've been able to find here um number one if you're looking for like uh super high damage you know lepic bill you know that's doing the whole one shot in the boss and all that that's not what this video is going to be about honestly moxie made the perfect bill just go watch his video that video was great it's an example of Completely optimizing a build you're probably not squeezing any more damage out of that thing so just go to that if you want but if you're wanting to get a build that is extremely fun that also does extremely high damage this build is insane so i've been doing just some little labbing and whatnot and we're just going to kind of go ahead and show you some things here all right we'll these guys you know 100 put them on um we'll keep them invincible because they die in one hit um so the current thing that I'm doing is obviously if you don't know already, uh, any you know sort of hand cannon or most weapons in the game, if you can put on sharp precision shot, it basically allows for you to increase your fire rate. And any unique weapon in the game basically takes that sort of thing as well. So um, even for example, let's say you running this on you know the devotion or whatever it may be, it'll take that fire rate and then it'll actually do that over and over and over again. So um, this makes it to where your unique weapon whenever you hit your four fires faster it's not only works for ultimate levic whenever he's using his big boy with the firearm master but also for all of his other transcendent mods that allow for you to do this so this is how you do this and then the extra fire rate so anyone can do this you can just put these two on and then you can make this build work here you don't have to worry about everything else what we're running in here you're going to need mp recovery and combat going to be super important max mp is just kind of there it doesn't really matter what you really want is the MP recovery in combat, but having the max MP is, you know, not bad at all. Um, you're definitely going to want to have MP recovery out of combat. This is, both of these two are really important. And then technically you would want all of this on the Slayer set. So that way you can give yourself just a little bit more skill power. And that is pretty much that there. Now, as far as the actual build build, um, you're going to need the fire uh, and tech skills. Uh, the critical hit rate, it's not really that good. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You would want to go more for the critical hit damage or... Uh, honestly, you can even go for cooldown. Uh, as long as you have just fire skill boost, you're going to be pretty much good. But you just want to have this as a legendary reactor for sure, for sure. So the build is basically going to look like this. Uh, I'm currently still kidding it out just a little bit. So I'm probably going to optimize this thing to where I can actually go ahead and still keep my one shot. Because my one shot build is currently looking like this for right now. Um, and this is like just where I'm at with it so far. So you can still kind of use the fire armor master with the build that I'm currently crafting gonna try and make it to where i can keep you know both within relevant so that way i can use one for bossing and then use this one for mobbing this is more for mobbing purposes to, to kind of explain it what this does is it basically make it to where you can now sit into your unique weapon infinitely you'll never get out of it ever so you can basically sit in this mode and as you guys know this thing is extremely extremely fun to sit in it does, it does a lot of damage right well you lose a little bit of the damage in order to make it to where mp is no longer consumed while you're in the unique weapon it consumes mp whenever you actually attack so when you click the button but it also recovers mp whenever you land a critical hit which means as you can see here we stacked the three crit mod so now we're at a 200 uh, percent crit uh 100 percent crit rate so now our crit rate is exactly at 50 percent now the cool thing about this is there's a bunch of mobs every single one of those mobs have a chance and it's not like there's a cool now nope it's just you have a chance and the chance of this is a 30 percent chance so you have a 50 percent chance of getting a critical hit if you get that critical hit you have a 30 percent chance of getting 15 percent of your mp back and it's off of your max mp percentage which is really really cool so this is awesome like this is this is a lot of mp um, that you're going to get from this and to kind of make sure that you never run out of this i'm just running mp collector right now but I can see in the future once I fully min-max this thing that there will be no need for this. But for right now what I'm doing, this makes it to where I legit can fire this thing forever. And since we have on that uh, payout or a sharp precision shot mod, this thing starts off firing slow. But if you hold it down, you can just straight up just start firing much, 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 much faster. This makes it extremely good for mobbing. And the cool thing about it is we're also running multi-talented. What does multi talented do? The cool thing about this ability is that it has a really large radius of five meters. You extend this thing at each and every one of those shots you just saw there are now doubled. But what's cool about this is if you have a singular skill or a tech skill, use your tech skill, it's going to increase your skill range and your power modifier. This is also cool because this thing also actually does your burn damage after. So that actually increases that there. So that's cool. 
but it also for your, when you use singular skills it increases all of your attribute damage by plus 30 and since again you do attribute damage with fire this makes it to where these things hit really really hard now what's cool about this is it's for singular and for tech now notice how this is a tech skill so you're technically sitting in this mode so you can't use this again you don't want to like cycle in and out of it, it has an 80 second cooldown but you never have a cooldown because again you can sit in this mode forever well this is a singular skill so that means you can now proc this singular skill whenever it's actually here so we're going to put a little bit more cooldown so that way we can proc this basically keep this 100 percent uptime on the singular skill so that way we can always have that plus 30 percent attribute and then as you can see here this is a tech skill that is also on a really sharp cooldown that's also you know hitting pretty nice as well so we can technically use these two skills here and even this overclock here to make sure that we're always able to get the singular and the tech skill depending on what we're needing now the skill range is really important because if you throw one of these grenades you're going to give yourself a range boost of plus 15 making it more valuable than running let's say uh, something like this or even um, like a cheaper mod or something like that so it makes it to where just running the multi-talent it gives you two different things that both give you sort of the results that you may need so that's really really awesome with that but just this singular here again that's really really good you throw that out and then you're going to do more damage and this kind of works hand in hand because if you can get everything grouped into this mode this is actually getting its range increased as well then they all get grouped in you're going to do more damage to them and you're going to hit them with a bunch of these forever so this works really really well with that and also if you do your overclock straight into it it'll also do that exact same thing as well so really really cool and then for your grenades if you throw this out you're basically going to increase your range of everything that you're doing not only with your shot explosions so i want you to think of this as you're literally setting off a nuke that has like a huge radius and like a like a cone that is extremely wide like this is one of the best like <laughs> this is one of the best things to say you can fire this as much as you can this thing just nukes everything in an area easily see if I can try and show you that in a second and then we're also running the skill expansion just to increase the radius of this to be as much as we possibly can to that maximum expansion range which will be really really good um, and then we're running this for just the health but that's pretty much that there so now to kind of give you a showcase of everything here so again I just go ahead and throw this V out as you can see really really long radius right off of that just alone super long radius right again you throw that out Look at how long that is, right? That's a huge radius, right? Well, throw this out first. Now throw this out. Even wider, right? So everything in the map is going to get caught by that thing. You're literally grouping everything up, and you can do this again as we start sacking cooldown when I get it fully built. Again, that's insane, right? So what's cool about that is... So one gives you more skill range, and it actually gives you a skill power modifier. Feed that, right? So more active range. Uh, and then power modifier plus 15 as well. So again, your burn damage is going to be stronger. So let's say now you're actually pressing your Z. You sit into your Z and then you're in this mode, right? You can sit in this mode forever. This thing does not have a cooldown. The cooldown starts whenever you actually completely deplete the skill. You press your overclock. That obviously gives you a little damage boost and all of that stuff. So just kind of show you that really quick. Go into your overclock. Skill power increase plus 20%. And this also gives you that burn damage that we were talking about, right? And again, that um, continuous damage stats from you know this here so this is a really strong ability you want to always basically be sitting in this so i'm going to put more cooldown so that way i can have this up 24 7 and this is the singular as well so again that singular damage boost to all the attribute damage that we're also going to be doing um, i'm also probably going to be putting in a fire skill so there's going to be a point to where i'm not going to use this i'm probably going to be running fire specialist or maybe fire master depending on which one gives me more damage and i'm definitely going to be putting on um another uh cooldown perk here so probably fire specialist, uh, MP conversion, this one here, definitely right there. Maybe nimble fingers uh, to try and double down. It depends on how much I need, but we'll, I'll give you guys an update in just a little bit uh, in a few more days here uh, with this. But again, the whole point of this is you pop this C here, and now you can do this. And again, look at this. Look at the radius from this. And now you can do this forever, right? All you got to do is get a critical hit. And you can do this forever. This thing does not hit bad because it does the burn damage as well. As you can see, you're going to pretty much get this over and over again, right? Now you see how the radius is not that, like, crazy? 
Go this out. Now look at the radius. Insane radius. And you can do this forever. Look at that. Look at that. That is insane, right? Now again, if they were to die or something like that, MP collector would proc again. So you would have, you know, giving yourself just more more opportunities to get that. But I can see in the future me completely taking off MP collector um, as a whole. Honestly, you might want to go for the skill critical hit rate, uh, maybe set as well. That might help out with this. But just being able to do this forever is kind of insane. So let's say you get low. Here's why I so say you can do this forever. You just stop firing and you can just sit in the moat, stop firing. Your MP recovery and combat is proccing. You can just keep running around and it's going to regen. You're going to stay in this mode and just get it started right back again. This makes this already the best mobbing build for him because again, you're able to kill everything. This is hitting for already extremely hard. Um, and I don't even have a fire specialist on it or anything, which is going to increase its power basically almost 10 uh, by 100% margin. So this is looking at this possibly hitting for possibly 700 uh, to 800K crit, which is really nice. To say that you can do this forever and it has this big of a radius this is basically like as if you had infinite you know grenades except now you're doing them all now that's how hard they're hitting whenever i'm using it like that let's say i actually hit my overclock with it all right throw this out get that look at those ticks that's now doing 44 instead of the 30. so this is again insane amount of dps as you can see here this is going to absolutely change completely how this character is being played. Look at look at that. I legit cannot lose this, right? And the cool thing about this is the burn damage also is important as well. Anytime you do uh, use a skill, you're gonna have to rebuild your fire rate, so that might be a thing to you know just pay attention to. But really, really cool. As you can see, you're never going to not get this. look at that so hopefully you guys enjoyed this man this is honestly insane work um look look, look at the radius it tells you look at the radius on that that's the whole cone of damage right it tells you that's insane so i am definitely going to be working on this build expect more on this like really really soon forget the other build of like you know just exploding the boss i want to see how good this is just for mobbing but also want to see how good it would be for like actual bossing. Since you can do this forever, this means infinite burn damage, infinite everything. Um, and you can do this forever. Like that's the most important thing for me is like, number one, I want to build that I can do everything with and then just switch to the firearm master if I need to. So I'm going to be aiming for this with my build. So expect to see more of this in the future. This thing is going to be absolutely insane. I'm going to try and do like with Sharon, try and get it up to like possibly four mil, things like that. We're going to see where this thing can go, man. It's too cool, bro. <laughs> I love my lip. Number one, I think I got the coolest looking leopard in the game. Look at that, bro. Like, look at how cool he look. Anyways, man, we out. Expect some more in the future. We optimizing him soon.